today we're going to be using a staff, a swiffer, broomstick, whatever it is you have on hand, even a curtain rod I've had people use as well as a ski pole. So roll your shoulders back, take a nice deep breath in, pull right into that heart. Take a nice inhale and exhale, reach and draw right up. So exhale, open and follow right up and into the legs. Now open up as far as you feel comfortable, creating that nice space in the posterior chain. So think about the hamstrings in the back, lengthening and opening. One more time, you guys, exhale as you open. Now inhale down and exhale, push it away. Now two, lengthen and open up those hamstrings. Three and four, inhale, exhale. Five, six, connect your breath. Seven, exhale, open. Eight, two more. One more time, you guys. Fantastic. Now all we're gonna do is pull in the direction that we're gonna go towards. So as I rotate to the right, I'm gonna pull with the right, but resist with the left. Same side, five times. Now try to rotate a little bit further each time. Exhale for four, and now switch. Now wrap the elbow around the back. Two, three, four. Now alternate, one, and switch. Now relax your shoulders. You're not shrugging them. Just create some space in your spine, keeping the feet in the same space and pulling in the direction while resisting. Five and four. Exhale for three, you're looking behind you. Two, one more, both sides. And rest it. Take a moment and roll your shoulders back. Roll your shoulders forward. Now, as we rotate now to that right side, I want you to lift up your right knee and look all the way to the right side. Exhale, one, two. Now try to cross your knee towards the center of your body. Three, and look all the way to that right side. Now pull and resist, five and six. Seven, exhale as you rotate, you guys. Eight and nine, one more. Now switch sides, one, two, and three, wrap it, and four, exhale for five, and six, seven, and eight, two more, you guys, nine, one more, and 10. Awesome work, roll it back again, and then roll it forward. Take from here directly right onto the shoulders. You're gonna keep this here. You can even hang your arms over if you have that amount of space. Otherwise, hold in the W and rotate again. So one, now I want you to think about your posture, nice and tall. Two, think about the crown of the head all the way to the ceiling. Four, last five. Squeezing the shoulder blades together. Three and two, one more time, and back to the middle. Now from here, I want you to think about this as a pull down. So you're gonna hold from here, pull like you're trying to separate the step. Here we go, one and two. Now draw the shoulder blades together, squeeze from here, keep your neck in neutral. Four, exhale, five. You can try one foot in front of the other six or stand hip distance apart. Seven, eight, exhale as you pull down. Nine, one more, and 10. Awesome work, roll it back. Now we're gonna take the staff all the way to the side. So from this position here, you guys, I'm gonna externally rotate here that right knee. Tuck it and draw it back. So think about lifting up the knee as high as you can tucking your elbow behind it. Nice inhale, one. Now you're pulling in that direction and resisting with your left arm. Four, five, six, 
seven, that's it, you guys. Eight, nine, and 10. Now let's open up the other side, take a moment, roll the shoulders back. So great arm workout here because you're really constantly trying to resist and use that strength in your arms to hold and resist the movements while you do it. So come to the other side, externally rotate that left, tuck it, one, two, three, exhale as you lift you guys, four, that's it, five, and six. Now focus on your posture, seven, nice and tall, eight, nine, one more, and 10. Roll it back, roll it forward. Now from here, you're gonna take a nice big breath in and we're gonna alternate driving the knees through. Now pull and resist. Tuck the knee up and in if you can through the step. Keep those arms separated, really pull. Five, four, three, two, one more. Relax it, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead here and take that step over to that left side. Now my inside foot is gonna draw up. And as I come back, I'm gonna gently rotate my foot slightly to the corner. So I'm gonna come in and then I'm gonna open up that hip as I swing back, okay? So nice deep breath in from here. Inhale, exhale, front and back. One, two, three. Exhale, four. And five, six, squeeze your glute. Seven, use your abs, lift your leg as high as your waist. Eight, nine, one more and 10. Other side, inside leg, shoulders back. Nice deep breath in. Inhale, exhale. Two, three, rotate that hip back and four. You're still keeping in one line, but you're gonna lead with the heel. Five, and allow from here that hip to open. Six, seven, and eight, inhale, exhale, nine, one more, and rest it, you guys. Great job. Now we're just gonna take that pull through and just take up a little bit as far as that momentum. Now, if you feel like going at your own pace and just focusing on your balance, you can instead go slow at your pace. We're gonna go 10 at a moderate pace and then 10 as fast as you can, keeping your form. So shoulders down, belly button in, inhale, Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Now keep your posture nice and tall, six. Drive the knee up to the chest, seven, eight, nine, 10. Increase, one, two, three, four. No spaghetti arms pulling, you guys. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. 10, great work. Take from here that leg and open it. You can tuck the pelvis and rotate it forward if that feels best. Tucking it here and opening, or you can lengthen nice and long. Inhale. Exhale. Very good. We're gonna switch to the other leg. Shoulders back, belly button in. Reach to the corner. Take a nice big breath. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Exhale as you lift it up. Five. Separate from here the staff, you guys. Six, seven, pull. Eight, nine. Little faster. Two, three, four, five. Posture tall. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Rest it. Take that leg, open it up. You can bend your knee and tuck it, that feels best. Open and lengthen. Nice deep breath here, you guys. 
This next move is going to incorporate this same stretch, but we're going to add our balance to it. So you have a few choices. If you need to use the staff as you step back from here, what you could do is you could take from here that left arm and you would reach it behind you and come back up. Okay? Now the movement is I'm hip distance apart. I'm going to take that staff from here and rotate behind me. Tap either the, the back of my calf or maybe the heel, rotate back up, and then travel the knee through and then open. If for stability I need to keep the, the staff down, absolutely work on that rotation. So nice deep breath in, I'll do a few from this position. Inhale, exhale, I'm rotating all the way in that direction, come back up, one, exhale, inhale, two, find your center of balance, exhale, inhale, are you separating the staff? Exhale, inhale, four, inhale, exhale, five, inhale, exhale, six, inhale, exhale, seven, and eight, two more times you guys, Nine, one more time now. Open, rotate. Awesome work. Take from here those hips and exaggerate that range of motion. Rewind it. Balance is an issue for me. I want to work it. I'm going to come from here, hip distance, open, come back in, and then tuck my knee. All right, so nice deep breath in, you guys. Lengthen. Amen. Separate from here as much as you can. Inhale. Exhale, rotate. Pop it back up. One, inhale. Exhale. Two. Three. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Inhale. Exhale, five, open, rotate, travel through six, and seven, inhale, exhale, and eight, resist that rotation, you guys, nine, one more, open, rotate, and 10, fantastic work. Go ahead from here and exaggerate the hip rotation. Rewind it the other way. Great work, you guys. This next move, if you have a hard time squatting, you have a few different choices. To make this easier, I would rotate my toes out nice and far, hold from here, and come to a plie. I'm going to try from here to bring my heels in, stand up nice and tall, and draw from here the elbows up above my tiptoe. I'm gonna drive down, nice inhale, exhale. Now I want you to think about staying as straight and tall as you can. Ready, inhale, exhale, one, two, three. So have your arms in front of your heart and four, and keep the arms working through this. Five, inhale, doesn't work. Six, seven, I go to the place that works best for me, and I'm building that strength, two more. One more time now. Now your favorites here. This is really where fatigue sets in. So what we're gonna do is try mini pulses at your low point, whether you're in a plie or a demi-plie, shoulders back, belly button in. Ready, steady, pulse it. One, two, three, hush, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, and 10. Great job, you guys. Take a moment from here. Stretch out those legs. Lengthen if it's comfortable. Rotate your back leg and lengthen down your front leg. So contract the quadricep, chin coming towards the toe. Nice, tall spine. Switch it up. Hip distance. Nice deep breath in. Lengthen the front leg. Travel it down. We're going to come down onto the mat here and do some abdominal work, you guys. Now, if all else fails, you could use a pillow or a Pilates ball behind your back. I'm going to show you from the side here what this looks like. Now, I'm taking my staff behind me and I'm going to hold on above. Okay? Now, elbows up. I'm leaning back. Now, if you get this right, you should be able to kind of relax your head back so that you can travel your legs up. Now, if it does not work, you would take the staff in front, okay, which is the next move. But slight angle away so that you can lean back, hold the elbows up, nice deep breath, and now pull down and lift. One, two, three, exhale, reach for it, four. I can do one leg, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. Now I'm gonna take it in front. Now, shoulders down, belly button comes in. This can be a lot of work on your head flexors, Take your legs out for a moment, reach the staff away from you, and lengthen your spine. So I want you to glue your hamstrings, bring your toes to the ceiling, and hinge from your hip. Big breath in now. Contract the quads, lengthen and shoot arrows out of your heels and your toes, and walk it back up. All right, so. Same thing applies here. I could lift up one leg at a time and then the other. Now the goal with this move, you guys, is we're gonna try to really use that strength of the core, but also take the legs in and out with the movement. So I'm gonna show you from the side here. I'm gonna lengthen my legs out, travel the legs up. I can straighten them, pull them in and come all the way down and sit back up. So I'll place my legs out, shoulders back. Bend the knees, lift the legs, hug it out, back down. So from here, nice deep breath in, you guys. Hinge from here, back, engage your abdominal muscles. Lift up the legs, pull them in, glide it down, open. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale. Four, five, if you need to, bend the knees, six. I'm just gonna turn off somebody's not on you, seven. I can reach you guys all though. Eight, two more times now. Nine, one more, and relax it. Very good, you guys, nice job. All right, so. Coming to your seated position once again, lengthen your legs, and then come all the way over the top. Now really focus on contracting the quadriceps, lengthening and opening. I can sit up straight here, and if this is enough, then I won't even lean forward. If I can lean forward, I'm gonna walk the staff away. Okay, this next move, you guys, is called an S lift. So what you're gonna do is think about your legs kind of in a formation of an S. So you're bending your knees to the front, taking your feet to the back. Now, level one, I can stay right up like this, pop up onto my knee, transfer the weight and kick back. 
I can stay just like this the whole time. So I would bend from here and open kick, okay? Now, I'm gonna be transferring the weight onto my bottom knee. So as long as you feel comfortable, you're gonna go ahead from here and lift up your hip, lengthen your leg, and try to kick as high as your hip, rotate the knees back in and then drop. Now notice where my arm is. If I have my arm out like this, and I'm trying to lift, okay, I'm gonna really hurt my shoulder. So I want you to pull everything in close. Feel that nice strength in your body. Take a deep breath in. Now you're about here at your eye level. You're gonna pop it up, rotate your hip, and then squeeze and kick. So inhale, exhale, one. Shift from here the feet and kick, three. Inhale, shift, and kick, four. Keep it out of your neck, left, and five. Inhale, exhale, six. Inhale, and seven. Now really use that arm to help you stabilize. Nine, one more, and 10. Great work, you guys. Take a moment, lengthen that leg out, follow all the way down, look up towards the ceiling. Deep breath in. I can't come down so far, I adjust the motion. Nice inhale, keep that left hip down, come to the other side and reach for it, you guys. Be mindful of where your neck is. I'm gonna pop it up in that wild thing, draw that arm in close and reach for it. Push those hips forward, squeeze the glutes, relax the shoulder down, nice inhale, nice exhale. Awesome work, you guys. We're gonna do that S lift on the other side. So I'm gonna take from here those feet in. Now the knees are to the front and the feet are to the back. I'm gonna hold the staff at about eye level here. Take from here and pull that right arm in nice and close. Now I can stay like this, lift and lower. I could stay up the whole time like this and I could lift and lower, I could tap and lift, okay? If you don't feel like coming up and down, the benefit of coming up and down is that you are working both sides of your hip simultaneously, okay? So I'm not just making things up here, you guys. It's about building strength where there is no none and creating balance where there's no balance. So take that big breath in now. Inhale, exhale, shift it, reach it, and tabletop. One, inhale, exhale. Two, inhale, exhale, and three. Now squeeze your glute nice and tight and reach for it, you guys, that's it. Four, inhale, exhale, five, inhale, and six. Watch your neck through this, and seven. Squeeze your glutes, lift it up now. Eight, we got two more. Nine, one more time, you guys. Fight to kick it up there. And 10, wonderful job. Release your seat. Flex the foot. Maybe just sitting like this is enough. If you can, lengthen and open. Palm comes up towards the ceiling. Relax the shoulder. Nice deep breath in, you guys. Rotate to the other side. Now, not only is exercise about creating balance, but our life is. So I'm sure you, like I, constantly fighting to find that balance in life. Work and play, making time for yourself. Take from here the palm and close, pop it up and reach it. You guys showing up for yourself here is about creating balance in your life. Take a deep breath in, open. Nice inhale. Big exhale. All right, you guys are really gonna like this one, I'm sure of it. So, now I'm gonna take my staff directly behind me. I do not have to use the staff to do this. I can simply come down onto my elbows and add a donkey kick. Now, once again, as we talk about balance, if I take this and place this directly in the center behind me, 
Okay, so I'm lining up the stack here right close to the center. Now, I'm going to take from here the left arm, rotate the palm in, and grab the staff through the legs. Now, the goal is to find my center of gravity. So as I rotate my left toe under, I'm going to bend my right knee and travel all the way up the staff and then glide it right back down. Now, I have to use my balance and my coordination to do this. You can do a donkey kick or you can go for it from here and try it. So I'm going to come to the side just to make it easier for you guys to see. All right, so nice deep breath and I'm curling the toe under. Nice deep breath and I'm gonna glide that leg up and bend it back down. Exhale, glide and lengthen, two. Inhale, three, engage your abdominal muscles. Four, inhale, five. Now up and out of that hip flexor, six, inhale, Seven, where are those abs? Pull them in, eight, two more, nine. Now I'm gonna pulse it, keep it up. One, two, three, engage your core. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more times, you guys, nine, and 10. I'm going to drop my staff down and push from here into puppy pose. If it feels comfortable to sink the hips down, relax from here side to side. Great job, you guys. Big breath in now. Walk your hands to the right. Nice inhale. So every time we lift up our heel or our knee higher than our glute, we're fighting gravity so that we're trying to really lift that glute up. Okay, so if I kick like this, this is fine, but this is better because I'm going to be fighting gravity and lifting up that glute each time. So I'm trying to glide the leg up, reach my highest extension, keeping my hips square, and then pull it down. So if I can glide right up and down that step, it helps me with keeping that form pristine. Now we're gonna switch sides. All right, so we're switching sides now. So now, right arm reaches through. Left arm comes down. Now, fight to find your center of balance here. It is your left leg that is gonna glide up and back down. One. Reach for it. Two, three, and four. Exhale. Five. Engage those abs. Six. Inhale. Seven. Inhale. Eight. Two more. Nine. One more time, you guys. Now pulse it. One, two, three, four. Engage those abs. Five, six, all the way up. Seven. Squeeze your glute. Eight, two more. Nine, and ten. Travel this back down. Puppy pose. Sink your hips back. Rotate those hips side to side. Great work, you guys. Walk your hands to the left. You can always stand up in puppy pose. Walk your hands to the right. Fantastic. Very good, you guys. We're going to come back up to a standing. You can always use your staff to help you. Lift yourself up and step it back in. All right, so now as we come back through, you guys, we're gonna bring that heart rate up just one more time. So I'm gonna go ahead from here and alternate first, pull, switch. One, two, three, and four, five, six, 
seven, eight, two more, nine, just that right. One, two, three, four, five, drive it in, seven, eight, nine, switch it, one, two, three, four, that's the way you guys, seven, eight, nine, to the side, one, two, three, four, tuck that elbow, six, seven, eight, nine, switch sides, externally rotate that knee, really reach and tuck, resist, five, four, three, two, and one. Take your staff in the middle. Keep your heart higher than your hips. Draw the ears through, push the hips all the way back. Deep breath in. I'm gonna walk the staff here over to the left. Push the hip out to the right. Nice deep breath in. Pressing through the heel. Contracting the quadricep, lengthening the spine. Draw it back up. Lengthen that spine, push and open through the heels. Create that space between your heel and your hip and your fingertip. No tension or stress in the neck. And walk it back up. Very good, you guys. All right, so now big breath in. Hold to that chest. You're gonna do a pull down in front 10 times. So big breath in from here. I'm gonna reach the corner, pull, separate one. Pull, two, pull, three, four. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Five and six, seven, eight. You're resisting and you're separating as much as you can. Nine, <clears throat> if you can, behind. One, two, three. If it does not work, you're in front. Four, five, think of that W, six. Squeeze the shoulder blade, seven. Eight, two more. Nine, you're gonna go front, back, front, back, front, two, and three, four, pull, resist, five. Neck in neutral, six, and seven. Keep it close to your body. Eight, nine, one more. 10 behind you, 10. Nine, nice tall posture, you guys. Eight, separate. Seven, six, and five, four. Relax your shoulders. Three, and two, one more time, and one. Great work. Take from here your staff all the way over to that right side. You're gonna bend from here. Now this should help you to be able to really maintain this balance and form. So you're gonna take your heel, line it up with your instep, and sink down as low as you can. Take a nice inhale. If you feel comfortable, you're gonna open. Reach as far out as you can. Drop it down and open to the side. Now, if your staff is not long enough, that's okay. You can stay here and you can reach. If I can come over the top and that works for me, I'm gonna lengthen and open, tuck the elbow in. Nice inhale. Nice exhale. Lengthen into that triangle. I can reach from here, that arm closest to the foot, as far down as I can. And again, if it doesn't work, if I can stabilize too much of the staff, drop the staff. Push it back up. Other side. Heel and the instep. Now I can stay just like this. I don't have to worry. I can also hold it across as I come through or drop that stuff all together. So nice inhale from here. Rotate the hips, square them off. Open, reach, and then pull it right behind you. So nice inhale. I'm gonna tuck my elbow in close and reach. Optional if I don't have a staff tall enough. Nice deep breath in, lengthen the leg and walk it down in that triangle. Big breath in, you can follow it down, reach your arm to the ceiling instead, does not matter. Nice deep breath in. 
push through the back foot. And then from here, place it back down, rotate your toes forward. And once again, hinge from your hip. And really this time, try to draw your chest parallel to the floor. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Bend your knees and step it in. Now, as we come through next, you guys, what I want you to do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna draw from here that left knee up, front snap kick, externally rotate and kick. So, maintaining my center of balance, drive my knee up at least to my waist if I can, front snap kick it, externally rotate. So you're in that tree pose, okay? But your foot is tucked behind. As you hinge forward, Keep your knee up and rotate your leg out. Transfer back, knee up, front snap kick, and exhale. One, knee forward, knee open. Two, high as you can. You can stick with the front snap kick. Three, inhale, exhale. Four, inhale, and five. And six, seven, three more, eight, two more times, you guys, nine, one more, and rest it. Roll the hips out, exaggerate it, other way. Take the stack to the other side. Find your center of balance. Knee comes up, front snap kick, externally rotate, lengthen, lift it. Inhale, exhale, open for two. Inhale, exhale, three. Keep your belly button pulled in tight, you guys. Four, it helps you with your balance. Exhale, five, lengthen. Lift up that knee if you can, as high as your waist. Six, you're bringing your abs into the seven. Lengthen. Eight. Two more times, you guys. Nine. You got this, one more. And let it go. You guys are professionals with the staff. Go ahead from here and open the hips. Now, optional would be to hold the stack or just do regular jumping jacks. If you feel like you are comfortable doing this, you can hold. I'm gonna go ahead and place it down and bring those arms up and down. You can also do a step tap. So shoulders back, belly button in, five directional jumping jacks in each direction and starting to that left first. Two, four, rotate, two, four, rotate, two, four, rotate, two, four, rotate, two, four, other way, two, four, rotate, two, four, rotate, two, four, one more time, four, and rest it. Reach for the sky. Rotate your toes out, sweep the floor, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more time. Take from here the hands down the quads and rotate, keep your heart higher than your hips and rotate that right shoulder down to the left and left shoulder down to the right. We're gonna come back down to the ground here, you guys. We're gonna do the Russian twist using the staff, all right? So if I need to have that pillow, tuck it behind my back, I'm gonna take a quick little drink here. Make sure that you hydrate, you guys. Half of your body weight water. Now, open up from here, nice deep breath in. 
You're gonna rotate first and just tap from one side to the other. Inhale, exhale. Now, think about pulling in the direction that you're going towards. You're not shrugging the shoulders. You can sit up tall, okay? Does not matter. If you can lean back, you're gonna be engaging more of those abs. Now reach as far back behind you. One, reach. Two, reach. Three, four, five, six, exhale, seven, reach for it, you guys, eight, exhale, nine, one more both sides. Wonderful work. Take your staff and bring it right underneath your knees and rotate your palms up. You can also hold that roller right underneath if it works and hug it in. Now, watch that there is nothing behind you. I don't want to roll back on top of anything. So nice big breath in. Inhale, exhale. Now I'm trying to fight to keep my feet off of the floor too. If I can't roll, I can lift one leg and then I can lift the other. Now try rolling and lifting the legs. Inhale, exhale. You can change your grip if you want to. So you can do more biceps from underneath here with your palms up or more shoulders down. Inhale, exhale. One more time. And then we're going to sit down to the ground here. Now, holding the staff, holding the roller, whatever it is that I have in my hand here, I want you to take a moment and imprint your spine. You're going to lengthen your legs up. Now, focus on lengthening the legs and reaching. You do not have to touch the staff here. It's a guiding thing to help you. So you're going to exhale. Inhale, you could lift up your head, but keep your shoulders off. Exhale, one, switch, two, switch, three. Exhale, four, your low back is pressing, five, and six. Exhale, seven, now eight, two more times, you guys. Nine, one more, both sides. Rest it up. Lengthen the arms over the head and stretch all the way out. Take a great big breath in here, you guys. Now this move requires coming up to a seated position. If it doesn't work, I'll show you what to do once I come up. So I'm gonna take that deep breath in. The goal is to contract the quadriceps, peel myself off of the mat and then hinge forward. <clears throat> if I have a hard time doing that, I can lean back as far as I feel comfortable. I can hold my staff, lean back and come back up. I'm trying to rotate back and all the way up and if I need to tuck my feet underneath the couch or ground them underneath something, I will. So nice deep breath in, contract the quadriceps. Peel yourself off, exhale it up and reach as far as you can. Inhale, exhale, peel it off, reach it. Two, inhale, exhale, reach for it. Now try to come a few inches forward, a little bit farther every time with your exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Three more times. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Reach for it. Lengthen it. One more time now. And rest it. Always on the bump of my mouth when I do that. All right. So nice deep breath in from here, you guys. What you're going to do is you're going to lean back. Hold from here that nice and tall. Now you're gonna alternate and lift one leg 
And then the other, if you can, as you hold from here, lift and lower. One, two, three, four. Now don't shrug your shoulders. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. Lengthen your legs out. Now you can hold the staff facing up. If you feel comfortable rolling it away from you, you're going to lengthen and open here. Now I understand that doesn't always work. So coming from here and lengthening, or even if sitting up right here is enough for me, then I'm going to work from this. If you can reach and lengthen forward, draw the hips back and track the quadriceps and reach as far forward as you can. Flex your feet. I'm gonna rotate all the way down that right side and reach right across. So relax your left hip. <clears throat> Other side, rotate through, nice deep breath in. Really reach for it. And let it go. All right, you guys, we're going to come back now to the side. So I'm going to hold my staff now on the left and take my left hand with my palm facing back behind me. The right hand here is going to reach behind my back and grab onto the staff, okay? Now holding this in nice and close, I'm gonna follow down the staff and try to keep my back lined up as much as I can. Neck in neutral, arm comes in close. Back foot curls under to find that, help me find my balance. Now, the goal is to lift and lower that leg. Maybe it will feel like it's barely going to lift. You can remove the staff from here and place it in front of you and you'll notice it'll be a lot easier. But we're trying to work our balance and stability and the strength of our assisting muscles all at once. So take that deep breath in, keep your shoulders back, ready, pop it up. One, two. Now if you can, as high as your head, fight for it. Three, four. If you need to drop all the way down to the floor, five, you do it. Six. Seven, squeeze and lift. Eight, two more times now. Nine, one more, and 10. Now we're gonna pulse it for 10. Shoulders back, belly button in. I can still rotate my neck and look down to the floor if holding it here doesn't work or looking up that rotation doesn't work. Big breath in, pulse at the top. One, two, three, four, five. That's the way you guys, six, seven, Eight, two more, nine, and 10. Go ahead from here, take a moment and reach all the way across and stretch that out. Great work, you guys. Now we're gonna keep that staff where it was. So meaning, pull it back in and take that same hand behind, but now you're gonna transfer the weight and you're gonna take from here, you guys, that left hand down, rotate from here, that left, that, sorry, right hip, and you're gonna cross from here the ankle on top of your left, and you're gonna pop it up and bring it back in. So from this position here, I'm crossing my ankle, okay? Back from here, finding that balance. Lift and kick. One, two, three, four. You can do the same thing without the staff on all fours, both hands down. Five, six, seven, eight. Squeeze and lift. Nine, now pulse it. One, Two, three, knee open, four, five, glute minimus, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10. Great job. Remove that staff and reach 
all the way over. Nice deep breath here. Very good, you guys. All right, now, other side. So come back from here and grab that other side. Lengthen and open. Now we're first on the side kick. So you're lining up your shoulders, keeping that neck from here, either rotating down or looking directly in front of you, and your shoulder wants to collapse. Trust me, my shoulder wants to collapse the whole time. So I'm trying to hold from here, pull the belly button in, take it that nice deep breath in, lift and lower. Now we always have one side. You're like, gosh, why are both sides this easy? Or why is this so hard? We always have that dominant side where it's easier to, to lean on or lift. Four, five, six, squeeze and lift it. Seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. 10 pulses at the top. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, squeeze and lift it. Seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10. Great work, you guys. Go ahead from here and take that step all the way out and lengthen and open. Contract the quadricep and press the energy out of the heel, lifting the toe to the ceiling. All right, so we get back into that same position here. That right hand comes in, that left hand comes behind the back with the palm facing behind me so it can hold on to my staff. Now, I travel this foot back. So the energy is rotating because I'm taking my knee here and taking that heel in and that knee out. And you're going to pulse it up and bring it down, but try not to let your knee collapse. Ready? Left. One. Two. Three. Four. You can always five, take both palms down, you guys. Fire hydrant pose, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, one more, pulse it, one. This mat is really slippery. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Nine and 10. Great job, you guys. Go ahead from here, lengthen and open and reach that away from you. You can open up over the side if this feels good. Find the positions that work best for you. Wonderful job, you guys. Way to try something new and to work your body and your mind at the same time. Go ahead from here, drop down to your elbows and push your hips back. Now feel that space in your low back. If you feel more comfortable in a puppy pose, your hips are high, try to sink back as far as you can and gently rotate those hips side to side. Nice inhale, big exhale. We're gonna open up our shoulders here for a moment. So what I want you guys to do is you're gonna come all the way down on your stomach. Now I'm gonna lengthen my arms out to either side and I'm gonna rotate onto my right shoulder. So I'm gonna be actually rotating my body just so I come on my right shoulder. Take my left foot and reach as far back as I can. Relax my head to the floor and then reach the left arm behind me. Now maybe I wanna tuck it behind my back and open up my shoulder here or maybe it's more comfortable to rotate palm up Maybe it's more comfortable to rotate palm down. You decide, open up through that shoulder. Ground from here, that right leg down, left leg rotates, big breath in. Now gently rotate back. Nice deep breath in. Now I'm gonna rotate onto my left shoulder and take from here that right foot all the way over. I can reach my right arm out, relax my head down. I can tuck that right hand behind my back or I can reach it, palm up, palm down. Nice deep breath in. You can also stand up and take your arms 
If you have a doorway, reach your arms out to either side and step through the doorway. And you can do this with both shoulders at the same time. Nice deep breath in. Rotate back from here. And then take your elbows underneath your shoulders. Now I want you to try to draw your ears away from your shoulders. Squeeze your glutes and roll the neck. Inhale. Exhale. One more time, both sides. Back to the middle now. If it is comfortable, your palms are going to come underneath your shoulders. Very important to protect your back that you squeeze your glutes as tight as you can. Nice inhale. Exhale. Lengthen and left. Now push from here. Shoulders and ears and separate them. Push your hips up and back and lengthen into puppy pose. Nice deep breath here. Tuck your pelvis in and round your back. Ears between the arms. Neutral. Nice inhale from here. Curl the toes under. You're going to lift up your hips into a downward facing dog. Lengthen, open, take a deep breath in. Feel that space in your hamstrings, the back of your legs. Press through your thumb and your first fingers. Nice deep breath in. If it feels comfortable, you're going to take your right hand and reach to your left foot. Bring it back, left hand reach to your right. Repeat it. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Now I'm going to come into that plank position. If I'm not comfortable in a high plank, I'm on my elbows. Draw from here, one knee in and switch. Inhale, exhale. One more time, both sides. Push back again. You're going to walk either your feet into your hands or your hands into your feet. Nice supported forward bend. I can take my hands along my shins or around along my quadriceps. If I have the flexibility, I can reach to the floor. Anchor the heels down. Nice deep breath in. Create that space all the way down the hamstrings, soften the knees, and slowly roll it up. Roll the shoulders back, and roll the shoulders forward. Take from here that left arm, hug it up and in. Increase that nice big stretch in your shoulder, roll the wrist, Rewind it. Open. Other side, tuck it in. Great job today, you guys. Nice inhale. Big exhale. Let's work on creating more balance where we don't have balance in our life. We all have different places that we can improve on. Reach from here, big breath in, and sweep. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Step it together. All I want you to do is take your right hand in and your left hand out and interlace at your fingers. Relax your shoulders. Rotate to that left. Sorry, to the right. One and two. One more. Now switch. Left hand in, right hand out. One and two. One more time, you guys. And three. Let's take three big breaths. So I want you to inhale positive. Exhale, let go of anything negative that doesn't serve you that you can't change. Think about all the things you have to be thankful for. Pull them right into your heart center. Take one more big breath in, you guys. Inhale positive and exhale negative. Relax your hands on your heart. Gently bow your head. Namaste. Have an amazing day today, you guys. Enjoy.